Chipotle reported earnings after the market closed yesterday, and this is another example of the price that we pay for stocks is really important. Chipotle is an incredibly expensive stock. That's why shares are down 7% as I'm recording late in the day on Wednesday. Doesn't mean that it was a bad quarter. It was actually a really, really good quarter. When you look at some of their competitors who are not growing same store sales, or maybe they're growing one or 2%. Chipotle grew same store sales at 6% in the third quarter of 2024. That is a phenomenal result, but the market had already priced in perfection and that's why shares are down. So I want to dig through the numbers, show just how impressive this business is right now and also why the market's reaction hasn't been very good. Two things can be true. Chipotle can be doing phenomenally well as a business and the stock can maybe even still be too expensive today. My name is Travis Hoyam. Thanks for watching Asymmetric Investing. Please subscribe here on YouTube for all my content and thanks to this video sponsor, The Motley Fool. If you go to fool.com slash ASYM, they'll give you their top 10 stocks to buy right now. So let's look at the results. You can see the total revenue increased 13%. Part of that is gonna be from the addition of new stores. I'll get to that in a little bit. It's also because of a 6% increase in same store sales. That's what you see right here. Operating margin, 16.9% from 16%. A lot of the operating margin increase and the operating leverage that you get from a business like Chipotle is because a lot of fixed costs for a restaurant are just recurring on an ongoing basis. So the rent that you have to pay, the labor that you have to pay, a lot of those things are more or less fixed. The way to become more profitable is to then increase the sales at each specific restaurant. So you're gonna have about a 70% margin on each sale 70% gross margin. So you're gonna be much more profitable if you sell two burritos than if you sell one burrito. Just a high level example there. But that's why the business bottom line is doing so well is because they're increasing the same store sales. That's what you wanna see from a restaurant business. Restaurant level operating margin was actually down 25.5%, a decrease from 26.3%. I'll get into some of those things in just a second. And the earnings per share, 28 cents, a 21.7% increase from 23, 23 cents a year ago. For the full year, management still expects the business to grow, expecting restaurant same store sales to increase mid to high single digits. I wanna reiterate this. This is the point of strength for a restaurant. If you're able to increase your sales without adding square footage, without adding more restaurants, that is a great position to be in. That's exactly what Chipotle is doing. So they're being more efficient with each one of their restaurants, generating more revenue. They're also opening more restaurants. For this year, they're expecting 20, 285 to 315 new restaurants. Next year, they're gonna increase that to 315 to 345 new restaurants. They are also leaning into this Chipotle. If you have one of these near you, this is the most convenient way to get Chipotle, just drive up and they hand you a bag. Really, really phenomenal innovation from them. They've also got a solid balance sheet, about $700 million worth of cash on the balance sheet. There is a lot of leases. So there's gonna be leasehold improvements, property, plant, and equipment. That's gonna be the things that Chipotle owns or pays for. And then there is liabilities, the operating lease assets, and then operating lease liabilities that they have on the balance sheet. Those are just future obligations to pay not quite debt, but they do have to put it on the balance sheet because they don't own those properties, but they do have probably 10, 20, 30 year agreements to pay rent to the places that they're renting space from. Thanks to our friends at The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash ASYM for the top 10 stocks to buy right now. I always think it's important to look at the long-term trends of the business though, and what is fundamentally driving operations. This chart really tells a lot about Chipotle and the success of the business. The columns that you see are the average restaurant sales. So you can see that late 2021, we're on a pace of $2.6 million per restaurant in sales. Now that's about 3.2 million. The annual number actually went from 1.6, actually went from 1.9 million in 2016. That was when they had the E. coli issues. Things were down from 2.5 million at their peak, but now that's been steady growth over the last eight years up to where we are today. The number of restaurants has also continued to increase now, 3,615 restaurants, just an incredible number of restaurants to operate that profitably at that number of revenue per restaurant. But here's the, where you get to why the stock is down. The business is doing extremely well. They continue to add restaurants, they're generating more revenue per restaurant. Margins are gonna be really good. Actually, management said that their margins are gonna be under pressure just a little bit because 
they're keeping those portion sizes high. This was something that happened on social media a few months ago. People were comparing the portion sizes of going into a restaurant versus getting Chipotle in something like Chipotle or via DoorDash and notice that portion sizes were much smaller if they weren't actually making the burrito in front of you. So they want to be consistent with that. You want to be, you want to know exactly what you're getting Chipotle from Chipotle, no matter where you get it. Seems like they're really leaning into that, but that's actually going to increase their costs just a little bit. So interesting note from them. I think that's absolutely the right thing to do long term, but short term maybe a little bit of pressure on margins. But the multiples are really what's concerning for Chipotle if you're an investor. 7.8 enterprise value to sales multiple. On a trailing basis, the PE multiple is 56. On a forward basis, that enterprise value to sales multiple goes down to 6.9. Price earnings multiple is 48. So why is the stock down on Wednesday after such a good earnings report? It's because Chipotle stock is valued for perfection. Over the last eight years, multiple expansion, price to sales multiple expansion has accounted for 22% compound annual growth rate. That is just an incredibly high number. That means that you not only have the growth from the business, but also growth from multiples expanding. But when multiples expand, then the business eventually has to catch up. And that's what we're seeing right now at Chipotle. If anybody's disappointed in these results, it's because the price that they were paying for the stock expected even higher organic growth. So this is where the price that you pay for a stock for a company is going to be really important. This is why I haven't been bullish on Chipotle recently, despite the fact that this is a phenomenal business. Like I said earlier, two things can be true. The business can be doing really well. The stock can be extremely overvalued. The companies that I like a little bit better that are trading for a much lower multiple companies like Portillo's. Portillo's trades for about a two times enterprise value to sales multiple, growing their store count at 12 to 15% per year. Same store sales not doing quite as well, but each one of those restaurants is extremely profitable. So from a valuation perspective, that's gonna be much more attractive. Gives you a little bit more downside protection if the business doesn't perform absolutely flawlessly. So that's what we're seeing with Chipotle today. Another thing I would be concerned about if you're looking to hold shares for the next five, 10, 15 years, don't worry about one quarter, but just understand that this is a very high price company. And that means that perfection is priced into the stock already. Any sort of slip up, any sort of slip in the same store sales growth, if that goes down to low single digits, then the stock is really, really going to pull back. But we're obviously not seeing that with Chipotle. We're seeing the business perform extremely well. A lot to like about Chipotle, except for the price. But let me know what you think about Chipotle's business and the stock price in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to Asymmetric Investing. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you here next time.